Hello everyone. In this chapter, we will take a look at few more mathematical functions and their graphs, and then we will implement them in our shaders to see the visual results. So one of the functions that we are going to take a look at is square root, which is given to us as SQRT by CG shader language. We will also take a look at the sine function and the ten function. The cos function will be similar to sine function but it will have a shifted pattern. So these are the functions that we are going to take a look at and we will also implement them in our shaders. So first let's create a graph of square root function. So this is the website that I am going to use to create the graphs and we will say sqrt function and put the x inside it and close the parenthesis. So this is the graph that is created by square root function. It's not a diagonal line which we saw when we created the graph of just x. Green line is the graph of x and square root x is an arch. So let's get back to our shader and see the pattern created by square root function. So I'm back in our unity project and I will duplicate the gradient shader and rename it as sqrt. So it will be our sqrt which is square root shader. We will just name it square root but we will take a look at few more functions inside it. Let's open it in mono develop. The first thing is always to change the name so that you can find the unique name to select it in material inspector. So the name we are going to give it is 03 square root. Save it. And instead of directly applying the texture coordinate dot x in the fragment shader, we will apply a square root function and save it. So I will duplicate this plane so that we can see the comparison between these two shaders that we have created and we can compare the difference in the visual pattern as well. So this plane on the left is texture coordinate dot x and the plane on the right is the square root function. If we understand this pattern from the same approach of looking top down from the camera, we can see that there is a arch that we see. The transparency is not 0 0.5 in the center. It's shifted a little bit. So let's create a 3D graph of this equation and see what it looks like from a top down view. So this is a 3D graph panel of a grapher app on the Mac platform. You can also create the shapes inside Maya or 3D Max, but we are going to use this grapher app because it provides us the capability of creating 3D graphs. And I will give SQRT X function to it. So what it has created for us is a plane that has arch shape. And this is exactly what we see in the 2D plane. And if we look at from the top down, this is the top view. So this is the closest area. And gradually, in an arc fashion, it's disappearing. It's going farther. So if we consider it a foggy environment, it will slowly disappear but it will disappear in an arc fashion. And how about a sin x? So sin x gives us a wave function. We should be able to see some lines appearing and disappearing with the sine function. And how about the 10? So this is a 10x graph which has this pattern. And the values are going beyond 1. So let's implement these functions in our shader and see what visual results they give us. So I will go back to our shader and I will copy this line and paste it here. 
and I will comment this line and replace this function with sign. So this is a result we are seeing. So there is only one sine wave at this point because the value is from 0 to 1 